literally we'll be filming just me and him we won't have a camera guy and we'll we'll literally miss something by seconds and yeah. we know if we weren't doing narration or something or getting extra b-roll to make it look spicy yeah we would have on camera All right, next topic All right. On, on the squad cast. Uh, the Mythic Clan HD says, how does game hunting stay fun after all these years? And for us, it's something that we've been doing since seven or eight years on YouTube. On YouTube, off camera, dude, way 10, longer. 15, yeah. 10 to 15 years. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like we keep doing it even if we're not filming. So it does, we do have a sense of it is still fun. But I don't know if you have like a specific thing that you think is like what keeps it fun for you. I have a couple things that I like kind of wrote down. All right. But do you have something that makes it like, we don't stop. It's like a weird <laughs> thing. Honestly, it's fun on its own because you never know what you're going to get out there. Oh, true. You get so psyched on finding any little thing. You'll find like random stuff. Like I found like a, a Turok toy out of nowhere and like threw, I was like, dude, this thing's sick. You'll find anything dude i think you hit the nail on the head with the whole thing of saying it's it's different every time yeah anytime you're doing something where it's it's like a job it working like in an office versus working in the field in an office you kind of have the day-to-day -day routine you kind of know what's going to yeah. come your way but when you're in the field you don't yeah. know what's going to happen you don't know nothing there's different things there's other people there's variables people you never met so with game hunting like you said especially i wouldn't say so much like game hunting in like stores or retail yeah it's... but when you're in the wild it's like what am i you don't know what's in somebody's trash bag or somebody's tote it's like a beautiful mystery you don't know and it... the people Oh, the people are the best. You, people, we, we've had people <laughs> sing to us on camera. We've had people make jokes about killing us. We've seen the you don't push my mother guy, a guy that was literally about to kill somebody. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's all stuff that we just you just see. So besides that, let me, I, I have one note. I'll, I'll do a point and then we can kind of go on from there. One thing I put that I think is obvious is go with friends. Oh, first thing, yeah. It's fun to go by yourself as well because it's kind of your own domain on your own time but when somebody's with you there you kind of get to like have fun with them like hey i know ricky's at ricky i know you're into this check it out like you might not be into it per se it is it's it's probably twice as fun when you have someone with you yeah. because i mean dude you're talking to someone you know what the heck you guys want it's like yeah, you go a lot by yourself too though, but which, what do you honestly enjoy more? What do you enjoy best? Do you enjoy going by yourself, going with a friend with a camera, or going with a friend without a camera? Going with a friend without a camera. Me too, sure. me too. <laughs> it's sad, that's the one sad thing about doing a show. Uh, Ricky knows, I'm one of the bigger complainers, uh, sadly, lately on like with the camera. I'm like, I just wanna put this down. I just wanna hang it, out, you know? There's been times when Literally, we'll be filming just me and him. We won't have a camera guy. And we'll we'll literally miss something by seconds. And yeah. we know if we weren't doing did, narration or something or getting extra B-roll to make it look spicy, yeah, we would have caught it on camera. Um, another point I put, oh, this is a big one. I think this is my like big point, yeah. is mix up what you collect. I think we all can get like collector's fatigue if we're like, I'm gonna get NES stuff only or I'm going for Super Nintendo. But when you're like, hey, I'm into, I'll collect toys, I'll collect VHS, I'll collect freaking American belts, anything. Yeah. I think when you kind of mix up, like for me, like when I was like, okay, I'm going to do toys, I'm going to do Sega Master System, it gave me like a new drive. It's beautiful because you honestly, sometimes you don't even know what you want to collect, but then you see it in the wild, you're like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Like, I found some Exo Squad toys. Honestly, amazing. I'm like, dude, what the heck? Why wasn't I collecting this before? And... That's the beautiful thing. You don't know what you want. I think that's actually so true. Like you'll see something, like you said, Exo Squad. Like yeah. Exo Squad hasn't been on my brain in 15 years since I was a kid remembering Christmas morning, the classic story with my cousin, whose name is Chris Brown, by the way, uh, <laughs> opening Exo Squad, the green one. That's I don't remember what it was called, but it's like you see those toys and you're like, oh, I do, like when I see dinosaurs toys. You know, the not the mama. Yeah, I'm always a little intrigued. Like. Do I want to start collecting for that? Like I was really into that show when I was younger. Also, price. If the price is right, you're not. You're gonna start collecting it. Like, oh, dude, if sure. you see those dinosaur toys for like a buck, are you? Oh, for sure, I'm done. <laughs> it's like sometimes I'll take them all. Sometimes yeah. it depends on price too. Like, yeah. dude, you find something for a dollar, 
you want to start collecting. Yeah, that keeps it fun. <laughs> All right, another point I have is, uh, and this is kind of coincides or is the oxymoron of what we said. The fun thing though, that makes it fun about documenting your journey is that you have, you, you have that evidence, that piece of history later. I know Ricky and I both have kids and it's one of those things where it's like, man, like it's cool to know. And I know we both do it. We're guilty of it, of like showing our kids older videos from when we started, you know, seven years ago, eight years ago. I do that today. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Ricky I actually watch, does it. I think he does it more than me. He watches the old episodes. I love a lot. watching the old episodes. It's like my kids are like blown away, like how small they are. They're like, "You've been doing this that long." Yep. I'm like, "Bro." Yeah. So as far as keeping uh, game hunting fun and retro collecting fun, documenting the journey, I wouldn't say makes it more fun in the moment. It makes it more fun fast forwarding. Like, hey, let's watch this again. Yeah. There's nothing like it to be honest. To be able to sit there and be like, that was a fun time. You know? That's true. It's mainly about the memories a lot of times. It's like you have the stuff, yeah, but it's like when you rewatch it, you're like, dude, that was awesome. You know what? I think you hit some, that, that's a big point. Like having the stuff is cool yeah. for sure, but like I find more enjoyment not from like seeing it on my shelf, but like being like, hey, let's watch the video where we found that. Like that's more exciting to me. <laughs> it, it's really fun to watch. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right, I have one more point. Do you have any more points? No, I like I like adding to your points. Oh, thank you. My thank you. Points. Oh, this is kind of a fun one. I don't know. Uh, I know a lot of people do this. Uh, it's fun to do challenges once in a while. Oh, that's fun. Um, we have we've done like the five dollar challenge. I know the retro hunters have done the five dollar challenge. I think that's kind of fun stuff because it gives you like a can you find this for under five dollars and can you buy an outfit for Ricky to wear for five dollars? I don't know. It makes it a it it gets fun because you never know on that as well. It's like what am I gonna make him wear? And that's really <laughs> useful when you're not finding anything. Yeah, it's true. We did it on a day where we were kind of like we had to pull something out of our hat. We were filming an episode and we were like. This episode's kind of, we haven't really found anything. How can we make this fun for not only the audience on the video, but for ourselves? Yeah. And we truly found ourselves like giggling like little girls. Oh, that's probably one of the funnier ones too. We, I remember us driving home, we're like, that was so fun to me, man. I love game hunting. <laughs> yeah, so that, I think that's, uh, I think game hunting is fun. Like you said, it's just fun all in general. Those are some uh, things you can do if you want to uh, keep it fun. Keep gaming fun. So.